what is my overall vision for a thriving Calgary? Uh, I think Calgary needs to get back to that place of being a young, dynamic, affordable city. And that's really where we're moving towards, you know, a city that can accelerate investment in our city and grow together, uh, you know, get back to being that city of open doors and open opportunity for everyone. What are my priorities for public services in our communities? You know, I think Calgary has done a fantastic job of delivering great services at a price point everyone can afford. And I think that's something we have to continue doing. You know, we have to remember that the 16,000 employees we have at the city of Calgary are also taxpayers. Uh, they care about efficiencies. They care about great use of tax dollars. And I think going forward, that's something we have to keep in mind. You know, some of the best efficiency conversations we have are getting on the ground and talking with our employees about what should we be doing more of? What, what are you hearing on the job? What should we be doing less of? And, and where can those efficiencies be found? Uh, because our employees have great ideas about how we can do better uh, and, and serve our citizens with even more impact. So what is my attitude towards private public partnerships? I think private public partnerships can work uh, to some degree when it comes down to delivering projects. But when it comes down to delivering services, you know, we have to we have to think about who has the expertise to deliver those services. And when we think about our city employees, delivering these things on a price point is is incredibly important. And so where we've looked to is actually finding efficiencies within departments. So if you think about roads and parks managing pathways together, creating efficiencies where now roads will just simply manage under the under the banner of mobility is a much more efficient use of tax dollars which will net out providing a better service to calgarians that's not something we have to partner necessarily with the private sector to do that's an efficiency we can find here in house so what are my priorities for for transportation and public transit well i can tell you after spending two and a half years as the chair of the city's transportation and transit committee it's all about growth and so if we think about our transit network, Green Line is a great example. Green Line is not just about a train. Green Line is about advancing an arterial end of an overall transit network that Calgary is going to need for decades to come. You know, if we think about our economic strategy, our downtown strategy, and if we're successful, Calgary will move to be a city of over 2 million people in the next 10 to 15 years. That is a real possibility that we have to start thinking about now and how we're going to get much more proactive about our transportation plan, which includes an overall betterment of our transit network. Uh, do I support the change in campaign financing laws? Uh, the current changes? No. I think uh, the, the problem we had is we're always in search of looking for a much more transparent way uh, of of moving forward with campaigning. Uh, the rules used to be fairly simple, you know, whether the money came from corporations or unions or individuals, it was a maximum dollar amount and you had to disclose that publicly. Now it's all over the map and I think it, you know, in, in a quest to be much more transparent and reduce a, the incumbent advantage, uh, I think we've actually gone the opposite direction and so I would actually lobby with the uh, provincial government who, who controls the legislation on, on local elections. Uh, I would lobby them to go back to the process we had before and or let's look to improve going forward again. Yeah, we're absolutely committed to the transparency on this election and, and certainly before the election period we'll be, uh, we'll be moving forward with releasing our donation list. What is the plan to address the fiscal relationship between the province and the municipalities? You know, it, it's become a very difficult one. And I think, you know, there's two parts to that question. Number one, as Calgarians, we have to look at how we can start expanding our tax base, not necessarily our tax rate. And so there's lots of opportunities we're seeing in and around the downtown core to, to think about how we build that tax base. Second of all to that is getting a fair deal for Calgarians when it comes to our tax dollars. We have to remember that 40% of our property taxes go to the province, which used to be in an education fund. Now the problem is, is it's going into general coffers and that money is not necessarily being returned to the taxpayers who are giving it. And so we need to look at how we reform uh, the amount of dollars coming back into Calgary, whether that's through infrastructure programs or through education or through healthcare services that those dollars are intended to support. Uh, Calgary deserves a fair shake from the province. Is there anything that you could ask me that voters should know about my campaign? Absolutely. I think this campaign is about moving forward. You know, I'm not interested in turning this city into Detroit. I'm interested in growing together for the betterment of all Calgarians. And thinking about how 
we give our young people the opportunities they need to want to stay in Calgary, not need to stay in Calgary. Currently, we see a record amount of young people leaving our city. That's a problem. Calgary used to be that place you came to for opportunity, and our young people today are seeing it as a place that they need to leave to go find opportunity elsewhere. We need to turn that around. And this campaign is really focused around the youth and, and thinking about place and business environment and innovation and talent and how those four pillars intersect to create a great city that people want to be in, not need to be in.